lovely people. Welcome to Zenat Kitchen. I hope you and pray that you are all well and safe. Today I'm going to show you how to make lovely uh, roti and flaky and layers. Look. So let's get started then. Here is our recipe. This is a 500 gram of all-purpose flour, the honey blanc. And I have here one teaspoon of uh, salt and uh, three tablespoons of cooking oil. And I have 400 ml of warm water. Okay. I'm just going to mix it a little bit and then I will have to put it in my blender. I mean in my mixer. You can do it by hand if you don't have any mixer. If you don't have any stand mixer, you can knead by hand a solid 10 to 15 minutes. Okay, so remember, one, table, one teaspoon of salt, three tablespoons of cooking oil, and 500 grams of all-purpose flour, and 400 ml of water. Look, I have some more water left. I haven't put all of them. I will let you know after finishing. Okay, now I'm going to put it in my stand mixer, and then I'll get back to you. Here I have already mixed it. I removed the mixer. I have to wash it and clear the mixer. This takes too much space on the table. Here we are. Just add a bit of oil and leave it to rest for half an hour. Cover it. Half an hour is good enough, but mine will be resting longer because I'm not going to cook it now. I'll see you later. And look, the dough is very nice and soft. So even if you have to do it by hand, make sure that you knead it well a solid 10 to 15 minutes. And then look until it is nice and soft and pliable look it's not sticky if it is a bit sticky there's no harm you can add two to three tablespoon of uh, dry flour but don't put too much that will make it hard look this is just my 500 gram of uh, flour and the water i use is only 300 ml so i will see you later then here's how the dough look after resting you need a tray to keep whatever, just divide it into whatever size you want to make the roti. Whether 10, whether 7 or 8. See, look, it's nice, it's very soft. You need some uh, dry flour as well and some oil to brush the roti. Just see how much we can make with that. That is too small, so I'm taking more. If it is sticky, just dip your hand in the dry flour. There we are. Put it like that. Sprinkle some flour here. Keep them here. That is a good size. This is a good size. size is good for me. It's one pound of flour, you get six roti. Must always be covered. Cover it so it does not get dry and then hard. So I will start to roll one at a time. Brush it with oil all over. Okay. 
and fold it like that and like that like this like a little parcel and still it goes in the tray and cover to get the next one and always cover it Same procedure, brush the oil all over. This type of roti, Mauritius people make it. It's not called parata, it's not called chapati, it's called roti, this one. Okay, then you fold it again like a little parcel. Here we are. Here, I have rolled all of them. I have put oil in all of them. I'm going to just leave it to rest for a little bit, maybe five minutes or so, and then I'll start rolling to cook on the hot tower. I'm going to start rolling now. Take one, dip in the fl dry flour. And start to roll. In the meantime, I have already put my hot plate to heat up, whether it's a hot plate, whether it's a tower or in a non-stick frying pan, it's up to you. Whatever you find easy. You will need about half a cup of oil to brush it when you roll and then to brush it while it's on the hot plate. Just like that, you just leave it on the heat until you will see bubble coming up. Then you can turn. Brush it on oil, brush with oil all over. You move it a bit, tend to cook everywhere the same. what you do is remove it and then just crush it like that then it becomes flaky while it's hot you have to do that there we are that's it one is done already 
We'll go on the next one now. In Mauritius, we always use white flour, all-purpose flour. In my time, by the way, there was no atta flour. There was always white flour. We used to get that uh, La Farine from Australia, or very good flour. See, this time I did not even turn it, I put the oil. You can do that as well, but you have to do it when all the bubble is forming, so you don't break the roti. You can either do it on the top when it's, you think that it will not break when you brush it, or you can turn it and then brush with oil. Once you get used to it, it will be very easy. You have to keep on playing with the heat on and off so the roti get, don't get burned, it cooks nicely. it like that. Here is the roti, it's all done. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Look look how look how it is. Very freaky. Look here. Look at the layers. Here. See? Nice flaky and soft and always keep it wrapped. So it stays warm and soft. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And follow me on Instagram at Zinat's Kitchen. And if you are new on my channel, please go and subscribe so you don't miss any of my new recipes. Thank you for watching. Bon appétit. See you in my next video. Bye.